Grace and love, everyone, and welcome to a SnowRunner mod review. This week, we have the crazies, Sandbreaker, and some Season 10 news. So subscribe, turn on notifications, give a thumbs up, and let's jump right into it! So as I said, we are having a mod review of the Crazy Fools Sandbreaker. It is the third installment to his Elemental Trucks. And I say his third installment to his elemental trucks because he started with, to the right here, the Peterbilt, the Ice Breaker, gorgeous Peterbilt, which honestly, if you use that on any snow map, you will not have any troubles. And then he built the Fire Breaker, which is to the left here, that, that friggin' firecracker of a Kenworth. Gorgeous as well. Amazing on many maps and can haul some heavy weights. And then he came out with this gorgeous truck, the F350. And it's named the Sandbreaker, which adds another element to the mix. And just like its two counterparts here, it's not just a scout, it can also haul. A firebreaker on it, boys. Ah, uh, yeah. And not just on pavement. No, no, no. This bad bitch can even tear it up through the mud. Ah, uh, yeah. So it can haul some heavy weight, but its best feature is being a scout and being able to go through a field of giant boulders with no trouble at all. This truck is, it just fits right in with all of Crazy's crazy inventions and crazy mods he has made over the last three years. Yes, happy birthday, SnowRunner. You're three years old. This truck has amazing add-ons and some unique add-ons. So how about we uh, take a gander at this speed demon of a truck so here we are in the garage boys hell yeah and of course we have the basic engine and then we have basic op mode and then we have these other three op modes uh which really i don't see a difference between them we have the gearboxes which you have the eight speed towing gearbox or just a regular five speed or i'm pretty sure this is a four speed i haven't tested that one uh suspensions you have a gooseneck mode you have a gooseneck off-road mode so that's pretty cool and then you have the hunting mode you have default you have off-road and then you have high let's, let's put the high one on tires honestly there wasn't that many tires i was surprised by the uh, lack of selection here. But they're all still pretty cool. Design tires, not gonna lie. Except that one. <laughs> winches, you have, you can get up to a 55 meter winch. Like, you'll never not find a winch point. Like, geez. You have two different diff locks. I didn't see a difference between the two because they're both always on. Snorkel. As you see right there, right there, yes, lovely, lovely. And you can add the gooseneck hitch in the back there. Moving to visuals, you could do the roof rack on the top, two slot. I don't know if that means uh, like actually two slot uh, for cargo, because that would be pretty awesome. I haven't actually uh, tried that. Then you have this small one, which kind of puts like a whole roll cage around the, 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 the cab of the truck. And you can put the tailgate on or you can take the tailgate off, whenever you like. You got three choices of uh, roll, roll bar. You got the just normal, you know, nothing really going on. Then you can get this one. It's a bit bulkier with some lights on the top. Or you can get this really unique one on the back here and body add-ons you can get a cap for the back 
you can put the front bumper on you can put a light bar on the top you can put the rear bumper on right there uh, side steps and a tool chest as well uh, you only get one rim choice for each each tire only gets one rim choice but the paint uh, yeah they just uh, they kind of just go on and on and on which is good you could do bobbleheads you could do accessories inside you could do exterior stickers or you can even do windshield stickers so that is pretty sweet and yeah so that is the crazy fools third installment to his elemental trucks so i really do hope he does a windbreaker truck um if you if crazy fool if you're watching this if you do watch this uh please make a windbreaker truck and if you do make it a uh a tractor or trailer like those two over there please make it a western star like how how awesome does that sound western star windbreaker and if you are dead set on making it a uh a scout like this then i highly recommend making it the the uh jeep wrangler jk because how good would that sound jeep wrangler windbreaker frick yeah randy so how about we get to some of that news now so in the april community update the devs did talk about season 10 a public test server and the macedon uh dlc so let's jump into that when is season 10 coming while we can't give you a release window yet we can tell you our teams are currently fully focused on it a little more patience wow thank you thank you for being so so uh informative focus thank you thank you so much at, at least at least they told us that we're that we're being patient right that's that's one thing that they uh confirmed on um it kind of sucks that they can't give us a release date on that but surely surely on the next two topics they gave us a release date like the public test server they have a release date for that right well this is what they had to say in the april community update will there be a public test server before season 10 we're expecting to have a public test server update prior to the season 10 update no date to communicate yet we'll make sure to let you know if a public test server is on the way if a public test server is on the way so it's not even like a for sure thing that it's on the way come on guys come on you could do better than that you you could definitely make sure we have a public test server come out i mean would it be that bad if we didn't get one? I don't know. I don't think so. But what about the Bassadon? Huh? Do they do, do they do they have an update like, you know, a date for that? Let's see. When will the Macedon DLC be coming? The Macedon DLC will be available soon. Stay tuned. Do not miss the info. Really? That was the info that you had about it? Wow. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Focus. You you guys are so informative. One thing that they did be very informative about in this April uh, community update is that SnowRunner is now three years old. Yes, SnowRunner turned three years. Last week, I believe it was on the April 21st, it turned three years old. So happy birthday. Well, happy belated birthday to SnowRunner. And that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you love the video, give a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss my mod reviews and my construction simulator videos. Also, Tuesday I live stream all the time, so you don't want to miss those ones. Definitely not. And like always, everybody, peace and love. Bye-bye. Oh, I crashed into a tree.